So all the referees have come to the Pro 14 head office here in Dublin ahead of our Guinness Pro 14 final series to make sure they're all prepared to referee to the best of their ability and to make sure we're all consistent and coherent on the pitch and that the quality of the players and the quality of the teams decide the tournament and the referees are prepared to fit into that model. The intensity and the sort of, you know, the standard gets it a little bit higher again when you get to the knockouts, you know, because there's a huge focus on it. So you, and you can feel, you know, the standard is great throughout the season, but when you get to a knockout game, it's sort of intensity goes, goes up a different notch and a different level, really, which, which, which is what you expect. I think, you know, coming into the tournament this year, I've been overwhelmed by how how positive the teams are and the actual quality of the teams and the players. I don't think there's a tournament to rival this anywhere in the world. So comparing Southern Hemisphere Rugby to Northern Hemisphere Rugby as someone who's refereed in both, um, it's, it's been a wonderful change for me. I mean, certainly looking at the statistics in the games, that we've had great ball and play time, uh, the quick ball statistics are extremely high and in comparison to Super Rugby. So from a game experience, uh, for me it's been as good if not better being involved in the Pro 14 and the style of rugby that's been played in this competition. Uh, there's been a, a massive step up in standard I found this year actually. Some of the intensities of some of the games that I've been involved in and the speed of play and the uh, ball in play times uh, have just been have just been through the roof in some of the games compared to previous seasons, which is is fantastic to see. I mean, you look at some of the turnovers, some of the players um, we were talking as a group of referees, some of the players with you know, some of the jacklers, poachers, winning ball, and and you know it's just it's just positive. And we've got to, uh, that's why I said about the us as a referee have got to help grow the game, um, and that and that allowing the poachers legally to win ball, to turn ball over, pass the ball, run from anywhere is is fantastic. <laughs> So the dialogue we have with the coaches is absolutely vital to progress this tournament. I mean, we need to work together with the coaches and work with them positively so we can do things better on the pitch. You know, some of the coaches in the Pro 14 are so, so experienced and we try and glean some of that knowledge, that game knowledge off them and, and Greg's our sort of middleman then. Um, you've got some great players in, in, in the game in, in the Pro 14 and we, we've got to allow those players to sort of express, our, express themselves within the laws of rugby. So yeah, that, that, that sort of like three-way bond between sort of uh, us as referees, Greg Garner and, um, and the coaches is, is, is imperative. It's huge, I think we're all trying to build a brand and certainly as a referee I've noticed the, state, the change in the style of play over the last number of years. So it's definitely more attacking um, and I think teams are approaching the scrum in a different way and that's all down to the communication that we have through Greg um, and feeding it back to us as to how we, look, we want the game to look.